close out the start of this for MMA Hawaii. Right now with the victorious Steven Siler. Steven, congrats on the victory, man. Uh, first one in the UFC. How does it feel? Uh, painful. Uh, my knees like, don't even want to walk right now. Uh, apparently they're not supposedly or supposed to be used on people's skulls, but uh, you know, I'll take the win. Yeah. Uh, speaking of the knees, uh, I guess kind of tell us, uh, I guess, your key to victory. Talk us through your key to victory. The Muay Thai Clint. Uh, I guess, who helped you on that? And uh, kind of just talk us through that. You know, but that's actually, I mean, I try using the Muay Thai clinch in practice, and, but I never really throw it too much. Um, that was actually my first time ever using it in a fight. Uh, usually in fights, I like just winging whatever feels good, and I'm glad that felt good because uh, it worked. Yeah, so, uh, again, over and over again, I think uh, maybe only Anderson Silva or uh, uh, or Anderson Silva, or uh, I forgot his name, uh, had a more knees in a fight. Uh, Amir Sadala, excuse oh, okay. me. Yeah, either Anderson Silva or Amir Sadala. Like, I guess you're right up there again using the Muay Thai clinch in a UFC fight. Well, hopefully, as I said, it's my first time ever using it, so uh, I'm glad it worked for me. Yeah, I'm pretty sure your next highlight video, Joe Rogan and uh, Goldberg, will really be like, yes, strong Muay Thai clinch. So, uh, kind of, again, talk to us about training. Yeah. We'll have to get ready for this fight. Uh, training wise, you know, we had a great camp down at the Hill, they did down in Orange with Court, uh, Court McGee, Ramsey Nijum, uh, Clay Harvison spent you know, a lot of his training camp down here with us. We got my partner Trevor Mellon and Brad Martinez, uh, great coach and Jason Murlick and uh, you know John Hackman comes by quite a bit and helps us out. So we have a solid up and coming camp right there. So you know I I feel comfortable whoever I fight because I fight in the gym, the toughest guys out there. So there's no one out here that I'm gonna be worried about. And yeah, speaking of fight, how soon do you want to come back? So when, you want it, when you see a show back in it. Um, you know, I'd like to take a couple weeks off just to heal my knees up, but after that, I'm ready to uh, So, uh, again, go ahead and shout out your sponsors. Uh, who helped you out? They didn't really let us have sponsors for this, maybe next fight. But, but uh, uh, I see, speaking of sponsors, you're rocking stuff from the uh, UFC store. Nice. UFC hooked it up. Great sweatshirts. I've been wearing them not all weekend. Uh, just the Pit Elevated Fight Team. Great. You know, thanks for helping me out and get ready for this fight. Uh, hopefully, I impress you guys all. And all my family and friends who actually came either way out to Vegas to uh, come watch. Yeah, actually, yeah, heard that big contention. Love the acoustic here at the pop. So, yeah, as soon as your name popped, felt like I was at a WWE event. Right? You can hear everybody was close for Siler. Yeah, I've always had great fans. Yeah, and then, along with every knee, hey! Hey! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually heard, even though somebody in Milan, I hear him like, I'll take it. <laughs> hey, this is, uh, thanks, Steven. Hey, for Steven, this is Dardo Macy, MMA Hawaii, always real people with fighters, real pain. Thank you. Thank you.